Hello gamers, and welcome back to Challenge of the Five Realms. We're starting Let's Play number 25, where now we're going back to the giant on Mount Shaska. Teleport, of course, is still the best method of travel. see what he says now that we have secured the publication of his poems I have great news friend Paris I took my mountains and mornings to Floro dust jacket a book printer in Silvermore he is very taken with your work and has agreed to publish it I have promised to pin an introduction to the volume announcing you as the great new talent. Soon all of Alonia will be reading your verse. My Mountains and Mornings? Published? My work at last given the opportunity to find an audience? A chance to seize the imagination of the kingdom? To lift people from the mundanities of life to spiritual and emotional ecstasy? You have done me a great kindness. I am in your debt. A debt I wish to repay. As my size would suggest, I am a strong and deadly fighter. I could join your party if you need me. Shall I accompany you? I, for one, would love to have a giant in my midst. However, I do know this giant takes a considerable amount of pace, space and has just as much ability as any other character could have. Unfortunately, that is one flaw in the game. But, I'm gonna take him nonetheless, because I love having a giant in my party. And I will, of course, dismiss Sir Balthazar, horrible knight of the table. Fucking useless piece of. Pardon my language. I'll don my armor and join you. And what armor it is! Let's take a look at that now. And his armor is. Dun 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 dun! Split mail. And he is exactly, like I said, weaker than most. But. He's a giant, so I like him. And it says human here. You know, they, I think that the game designers could have done a little more with this character. But, I mean, you see here, it is just, they work with the limitations they had. He works with bludgeons pretty good. Mm, anything other than that, no good. Strength 190, but let's look now at somebody who's not a giant. He has 180 strength 190. Looking now at Sir John Oldcastle. Oh, he's no good. Oh, there we go. Now he probably does have the highest strength in the game, but you're looking at her right now. I mean, she has damn good. I mean, look at her. Just, I mean, just look at her. She is amazing all around. She can punch, she can shoot, her strength is 150, she can dodge, she has it all. Except for walking and flying, of course, but it, don't, it doesn't matter. 175 courage. I mean, yes, he has high strength. That's probably his strongest set. He has the highest strength of any character to date. And I don't think any others become higher than that. But... We will keep him if we can. I've always been partial to Paris having us. So, we will see. 
Let's see what we have we can give him. We can give him a flail. One full plate armor, of course. He has a club and a spear. Blungeon is what he does best with, so flail would probably be his best. Do I have anything else? I do not. Except for a mace. I think flail does better than a mace. So we're going to go with flail. Alright. And he can keep his inventory and we're good. So now I have a giant in my party. Now... With this, we're going to move on. After giving him his due poetry. We will now go down here to our previous cave. And here we see a dragon that we must face. The only dragon in the game. Far away the king goes. Right up in the battle is our fighters, Nika, right beside you. Altura. Archers, 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 archers. Stellarex. Could be later in the battle. Ventrax Knights, one, two, three, four, five. Paris Havenus, can you get in there? All right. Now, let's go to quick combat and see what we got. We got our range and we got our fighters. Now, on a much bigger battle, I will, of course, not be using quick combat, but for this, it's just a dragon. Only dragon in the game. Generally, it's supposed to be pretty hard, but for me, and for this party, generally it's not. Now, we see the portal to Arius, right below where the dragon was. Now, we can go ahead and learn spells for now, and we have a few we can learn. Of course, we're going to save it before we attempt those. And also, I want to tell y'all of the one spell that we do not have the ability to learn yet, which is Evoke Dragon. The reason for that, we haven't went all through Alonia. There is one last component we need for that spell. Now, for this, it took me forever to get all the components for open ground. Because, unbeknownst to me, I had deleted one of the components, trying to learn it, and failing. So now we learn it. Redlaw learned it right away. That's good. Now I'm not going to go through everybody learning all these. I will do that on my own. But for Redlaw, I'm going to go ahead and learn all of them. Before we go into areas, which we are doing right now. You have found the portal to Arius. You must be able to fly in the realm of the clouds, so you use the appropriate magic and glide through the portal. 
If there's one thing I can't tolerate, it's arrogance. Gliding above the ground is quite a strange sensation. <laughs> Arians are known for their arrogance, vanity, and pride. Their minds are brilliant, but their arrogance blinds them. They must change their views. We need a symbol that represents their brilliance, but that hasn't been tainted by conceit. A symbol that represents a change in their way of thinking will help us to weaken Grimnoth. Now we're going to go ahead and go straight up here to the castle. So the guys. I want y'all to see how arrogant this fucker is. If we do not have every piece from Silvermore, he won't even talk to us. But I think we have it all, so let's talk to him now. Who are you who invades my royal castle? I have human feet. You have human features, but you walk on two legs and have a rugged look. There is stubble in your chin. You are primitive. You are not an Aryan. I am the king of the realm known as Alonia, the terrestrial realm which lies below us. I found the portal to your realm. I've come to ask you to join me in my fight against Grimnoth, an evil sorcerer who struck down my father. Grimnoth has cast a plague of darkness on my land. The plague will destroy your realm as well. Only the power of the five crowns can destroy him. I ask you, King of Arius, join me. You say you've seen Grimnoth? The reptile demon appeared and assassinated my father as well. Now my kingdom has been thrust into chaos. Grimnoth struggled, spoke of a plague of darkness, but the calamities that have erupted may have very well destroyed the kingdom before the plague reaches us. I never knew that being the king be such arduous work. I can't seem to calm or control my citizens. They are filled with madness and melancholy, and they are blah, 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 questioning my ability and authority. Join me on my quest. If we can combine the power of the five crowns, we can stop Grimnoth and restore order. Me? Join you? I am an Aryan, and we pride ourselves on our intellectual superiority over all other races. Look at your dirty hands. The sweat glistens on your forehead. You have scars on your hands and face. Aryans read and think and dream. We do not use our hands or battle like savages. I cannot journey to a realm that places physical labor higher than intellectual pursuits. You are a step above the Peregrines, but not by far. Be gone before your presence causes another disturbance among my people. You underestimate my realm. Don't let your arrogance blind you. My world is filled with intellectual, spiritual, and artistic treasures that will rival any of the works of Arius. Ha! You must be joking! Your realm has nothing to offer the Arians. We have no respect for the physical. I see that you have used your hands for more than turning the pages of a book. If you want me to believe you, then show me one of these masterpieces. I'm not particularly... You know, he says one of these masterpieces. But he won't fucking talk to you unless you show him all of them. Ridiculous. I'm not particular. I enjoy art, literature, poetry, sculpture. Show me something, Alonian. The legends say that you are a savage race. Prove me wrong. I already have everything, so let's see what the how do you like this bitch. Let me see what your kingdom has to offer, Alonian. Hmm. Yes. These works are quite interesting. You speak the truth, King Alonia. These are clearly works of passion and intelligence. You have my full attention. I wish that I could join you on your quest, but I can't leave Arius. There are a number of crises occurring in the kingdom, and I have to monitor them. The most pressing of these dilemmas is a rumor that an assassin is preparing to attack me. Several of the senators in the royal court have warned of an impending attack. Secondly, the village of Burano, where second-class citizens of Arius live, is staging some sort of demonstration or uprising. I cannot allow anarchy at a time like this. Senator Glorizia is monitoring a situation for me. Third, the Peregrines, a barbaric race of bird beings, are staging attacks against Aryan villages. They have gone so far as to steal the Sacred Book of Wisdom. They have been attacking citizens. There is even a rumor that they abducted a scholar and are holding him for ransom. The Peregrines are non-intelligent beasts who have only one talent. They can build. The buildings you see were envisioned and designed by Aryan minds, but the Peregrines provided the labor that constructed them. They are ungrateful for the work we provided to them. 
Now they are attacking us with physical force. And as intellectual esthetes and pacifists, we find ourselves helpless against their onslaught. As you can see, my kingdom is in disarray. If you want to join you on this high, I will ask for help. The first problem that needs attention is the capture of the assassin who plans to slay me. The carrying of weapons is strictly forbidden in Arius. The assassin must have a concealed weapon. What else could he kill me with? His bare hands? Oh, the thought sickens me. An Arian killing a brother Arian? Bring me proof that you have stopped the assassin. It will be an important first step in solving the problems of my kingdom. It's up to you to discover the identity of this would-be killer. Use the magic of your realm to uncover the identity of the traitor. Find out who is lying and who is telling the truth. And with that, I am going to end this Let's Play. And we will come back and pursue this Aryan arrogant asshole in the future. Until then, go ahead and like the video if you liked it. If you did not, well, stop watching. Otherwise, subscribe and I will see y'all later.